Hey. Uh, so my name is Marcus. Um, pretty much grew up in uh, North Little Rock, Little Rock area. Been here my whole life um, so far. Um, but I went to school here, uh, Little Rock Central High School. Um, graduated from the UA Little Rock um, in 2014 with my Bachelor of Fine Arts in Painting. Um, and since then I've been working here as a graduate hall director um, for Campus Living. Coming into college, I wasn't necessarily thinking about doing art as a, a degree. And then my freshman year, <laughs> I, I guess it was kind of in between. Um, I had originally thought doing engineering and art and I took a trigonometry class and I said that this was not for me. Um, so then went on to decide to pursue um, my BFA degree. I mean, I don't know if this is like a cliche answer or an easy answer, but uh, I like to base it off of, I guess, personal experiences and kind of just looking around um, wherever I'm at um, and at times incorporate <laughs> either sometimes, depending on the direction I want to go, something really serious or something really, um, no, I guess the opposite of that and a bit more humorous. Um, and so I think I've kind of leaned into more that side recently is things I guess more lighthearted, um, things that are simple, things that you see in your everyday life that you don't really notice or um, look at and then you see it in a piece of uh, artwork or something and it's represented in a way that you haven't seen before or it opens your eyes to see ordinary things in an extraordinary way. Um, I have some things that I've been uh, needing to paint here. I have some things that I have to gesso um, so I can do a quick gesso and do a quick base color on some of these. Okay. Yeah. And so just once that's ready to go, you really just want a thin, fairly thin layer. this finished piece will look like? This one I do um, because this one is actually a fairly easy um, concept. This was the first piece, getting a piece of cardboard, just cutting that out, cutting the two um, basically eye sockets. And then this is the second part of creating a piece like this. Got another piece of cardboard cut out the shape, same shape, cut out the um, indentions that's supposed to be there. And basically, once this is good to go, placing it inside, um, and then that what, that's what creates this. So with this piece, what I wanted to do was have this on one side, this on the other side. And with this one, somewhere around it to show that this is what this is in a deconstructed form. Drain Smart was started in 2015. It was an outgrowth of the Friends of Fush Creek, and we were looking for a way to help people connect the idea of street litter and water quality. And the main way that street litter gets into our local creeks is through storm drains. Marcus, he came in for the orientation, you know, he came to the Meet the Artist celebration, he won first place, so he did a good job promoting himself, uh, seemed like a very nice guy. I had heard about Drain Smart looking through the, uh, the art building, I saw some flyers about it, and I never really felt comfortable doing something like that because I, I guess I first saw it as like a contest and I was like, well, I don't have an idea that I think is good enough for that. Um, and then this, whatever, I guess past year that I did it, um, I just, you know, I had heard about it again and just thought, well, I, I'll try it out and see. And it was more so of like, 
what I can do as an artist and kind of venture out to do something new. And I had an image that I worked with that I had uh, did a watercolor piece for. And so I wanted to use that image for the Drain Smart because it, it correlated with what they wanted and what they were looking for. Uh, in a way, it kind of fits to kind of what I'm doing now, but um, definitely like environmentally conscious, like how do we see the world? How can we help the world basically? Um, and I feel like going with that reuse, recycle kind of feeling, um, in a way I feel like this cardboard, the cardboard stuff that I do now kind of um, reflects that a little bit um, with just finding pieces in the dumpster on the street and then using that, um, seeing the value in something like this that people just throw away. I, I don't know if I <laughs> want to be like super famous or anything like that. That's not like my goal. Um, I just like uh, making art. I like doing what I do. Um, and if anything, I guess helping inspire other people to pursue something similar um, or find their own artistic voice um, because it's something as simple as cutting up pieces of cardboard and painting on it. You know, you can find different ways to, to create things and people create things from trash and so I think that's really inspiring and it's just like you can find something out there for you that you want to do and it's just being passionate about it and following that.